Today's adventure begins right here at Carolina Beach as it is a very foggy day. You can barely see past the breakers here on the beach. A lot of storms rolled through here last night. At the time of this recording, it is March 23rd, 2024. So last night being Friday was the official opening of Brit's Donut Shop. Even though the weather is not very nice today, we have a lot to be thankful for and smiling about because today we are going to start off our weekend with some Brit's Donuts. I am so pumped. Springtime is here, even though it doesn't really look very springy, does it? No, no, no birds chirping, flowers blooming or anything quite yet, but man, that storm that rolled through here last night was very intense, almost like a tropical storm. It kept me up. It was so loud. The wind was just howling and roaring. It was in the ocean is still very stirred up. A lot of big waves out there that you really can't see much because it is just so foggy. But uh, it's about 65 degrees right now. The high today is going to be about 73. So as far as temp goes, it feels pretty good out here. It's not too bad. But uh, that's enough of talk about weather. It is time to go get us some Brits Donuts. I have been looking forward to this. I love the open of Brits, not just because I think they make the best glazed donut, but I know once they start making donuts, we're getting just that much closer to summertime. My time of the year. That means bodyboarding, getting in the ocean, fishing, having a good time, enjoying some sunshine, some good old vitamin D. That's all me right there. Vitamin D is all me. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's do this. We're doing it right now. We're going to Brits. Let's go down there and look at the line. So something I want to show you out here, my wife pointed out to me was notice the benches out here. They have like painted, they used to just be white and now they have painted the benches and the swings that, that extends down the boardwalk here, different colors. I think I really like that a lot because I love color and uh, my wife pointed that out to me. She's got a good eye for this type of stuff. So that'd be something to look for too. So a little bit more color here on the boardwalk as we move into the 2024 beach season. Also, we're fixing to walk down to the boardwalk area now and toward Brits. And as this video kind of progresses, once we finish up Brits Donut, I want to take you, we have a new restaurant coming to Carolina Beach. It's called Brunches, which they actually have one located in Wilmington, North Carolina. And I'm going to go show you the location that they're going to be opening up brunches. So that's really exciting. Another dining option here with a brunch and a good breakfast and things like that. So I think a lot of people here in the community is is uh, looking to be pretty excited about that. You know, I've been reading it online and stuff and everybody seems like they're really jazzed about it. So I'm, it's, it's actually in the old Sharkies building over here at the marina. I don't know if you know where that is, but uh, just hang tight. I will definitely take you over there and show you where brunches is going to be so really good news for the community all right i made it over here to the corner of the old crazy comb building which is going to be the tropical here in 2024 these guys are hard at work this morning they got their saws out they're ready to do some work here on this saturday morning and as you can see we see the a very not a bit for a brit stone this is not a very big line at all because in years past here on the channel if you came up here on opening opening weekend like on saturday morning that line would like be wrapped all the way down through here and sometime it would take off and go to the left up toward the uh, the beach so uh, this ain't too bad at all i figure it would be kind of short due to the weather that came through here last night maybe uh as the day progresses and things lighten up around here maybe the line will grow but here early in the morning not too bad this ain't bad at all all right, we are made it in. We put our order in. We're gonna have to wait a little bit. There is a line outside. That's what all those people are congregating around. They will actually take your name and then call your name when your donuts are ready. I think I'm one, I got a half a dozen. So uh, that's all me and my wife is gonna eat this morning. Three is enough. We could definitely eat a dozen cause they go down so good. But out of this chart, I've never noticed this right here before. The BritsDonutsFanClub.com. Check that out. Donut fan club. Who ever heard of something like that? That's pretty cool. <laughs> I like all the pictures and stuff they have in here, like showing just how good their donuts are. Voted America's number two favorite independent small town donut shop. Where it's donuts, and then they have like the little write up over here. Was it like in the newspaper at the time? 
pretty cool. They are definitely a popular mainstay here in Carolina Beach for many, many years. Sugar Rush, indeed, if you've never tried one before, it is quite the experience. They eat at Brits Donuts. They just melt in your mouth. I mean, it's almost like they dissolve. Our state celebrating North Carolina. Check that out. Summer in a sandwich. And there's the fruit. Brits Donuts, 8.30. And in there, they are making the donuts as fast as they can. Look at them go. Cash only. So as you see, once you place your order, just everyone just kind of comes out here and stands outside of Brits and they're just gonna yell her name out. And then we will go and pick our donuts up and uh, dig into them. And we have received our donuts. It's time to go eat. All right, looky in there. There is our donuts. I know you can't, there's no smell of vision yet on YouTube, but that smells pretty darn good. I can feel the heat coming out of that bag, by the way. So let's reach in there and grab us one and get to eating. And there is our first Brits donut. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh, that is so nice. I love these deep fried doughy goodness right here. All right, here we go. First donut of the season. Mm. You hear that crunch? Oh my gosh, so good. so light and fluffy if you've never had one before it almost reminds you of like a really good funnel cake kind of a flavor to it but they're just so fluffy and just oh my god soft it's kind of funny we had to wait over 30 minutes after we placed our order ordering is easy you just walk up order it and then the wait comes for them to prepare it and we probably waited, I don't know, 30, 35 minutes. And it's not because it was such a large amount of people. It was because how many donuts people were ordering. I mean, five dozen, four dozen was kind of the norm. And every once in a while, somebody would get a dozen or a dozen and a half. You know, and that's what slows it down. When you got one person walking away with four dozen donuts, they only have so much, one fryer in there pretty much. So... That's what takes so long. It's not because they're not making them as fast as they can. It's just the amount of donuts each person ordering was making. And you kind of run in that on opening day. As summer comes and, and moves along, it, you know, that chills out a little bit. <clears throat> it's not as bad. But just keep that in mind if you come opening day, you might wait a little bit, even if there's not a whole lot of people. And donut number three. All right here it is. Look at that glaze they put on that thing <laughs> okay so my rinse donut open a day experience has come to a close right here's the last bite of my third donut this morning what a breakfast breakfast of champions right there mm. that is so yummy okay now we're gonna kind of move around the beach a little bit Let's go look at the new brunches location. I'm going to show you where that is in case you've never heard of Sharky's before. We're going to go check that out. Also want to do kind of a construction update over at the Carolina Beach Lake on the playground that I showed a few videos ago when we was looking at some of the historic places here around town. And then we're going to call it a morning. We got stuff to do today. Even though the weather's not great, we got to get some stuff done today. So uh, thanks for hanging out with me. So let's push on and... Uh, Go check out brunches real quick. All right, we have finished scarfing down our donuts. And like I promised, now we're going to uh, head over toward the Sharkies area. As you can see the congregation of people down there at Brits, the line, the people just keep on coming. And it's also funny because you also pick up some stragglers because as you, as everybody is like congregated around waiting for their name to be called, other people are walking by going, what's going on? 
like oh brit's donuts is over. oh what's that and then it gets a conversation going next thing you know they're getting in line and and ordering donuts so uh, before we head over to the sharkies area to show you the new brunches location we're going to stop right here at the crush and grind coffee shop and pick up a little caffeine for a little walk because it is morning time it's time to you know dilute some of that sugar intake with just some black coffee and that's just what we're going to do now all right i have acquired my crush and grind coffee black coffee it's time to start walking in this direction over here toward the boat marina where the old sharkies at i can't wait to walk over there to see if they've already started gutting and fixing things up for brunches sitting here drinking my coffee and man, the seagulls are going crazy they're all jazzed i don't know what's got into them it's like tack of the birds i was just walking along there it was like 30 seagulls just come out of the blue and just like started landing all around me and like serenading me and <laughs> the yeti has returned <laughs> Yeah, they're right here in front of this this uh, building with the red roof. I used to joke with my wife. She said, what do you think? Because this is a brand new structure structure right here in town. And uh, she said, what do you think that's going to be? And I always say, that's going to be a pizza hut. It's going to be a super pizza hut. Look how big it is. See the red roof? It looks kind of like a pizza hut to me, which now it's, you know, the cat's out of the bag. It is a uh, Mexican restaurant. But uh, at the time, I had a few people around town believing that that was going to be a, a super pizza hut. Not even a pizza hut, but like a super pizza hut. I'm sorry. I kid because I care. All right, friends, we was walking from that direction. Right here is the Quick Mart, Islander Quick Mart. This here's where Island Burger Bites is, which is probably my favorite double cheeseburger around. Um, right there is the Blue Reef. It's right here is Carl Winter Avenue. And right here behind me is the Boat Marina. It's all good and they have definitely been busy bees here since i checked out last because look at this new structure they got up there they have all their i guess breaker boxes and power that's going to power this place right inside there which is really smart being so close to the marina they build it up off the ground you know which is a really good thing because during hurricanes and storms that water can depending on how strong the storm is can come over those banks and flood this area so uh really cool I'm curious, are they going to keep this outdoor seating, this little patio right here, as the roof, or it was like a, I don't know what kind of roof it had on it, it was like a, like an awning roof. Looks like all that stuff's been removed. I'm sure it was leak, leaking quite a bit. This place has not been open in quite some time. Quite a few years. I think Sharky's was here in this area. I never tried Sharky's, but I think it was here pre-2020. I think, uh, think that year ruined a lot of businesses and I think Sharky's definitely uh, bit the bullet on that one. So this here is, they got some dumpsters out here. Must be gutting the place a little bit, throwing stuff away. But right here on Lake Park Boulevard is where you're gonna find brunches. Right here at this old restaurant. This thing's been in a lot of different things over the years i can't it's funny before sharkies i can't even remember what this place used to be but it's been here forever you know at one time like maybe back in the early 90s it was it might even been called sweetwater or something like that they had really good ribs i remember my mom going down here when i was a teenager buying me some ribs but i think it might have been called sweetwater maybe can't remember back that far but anywho right now moving forward it's going to be known as brunches so uh you i promise you this when this place opens I will definitely be coming down here and trying this out because uh, I think brunch has got some really good food. And as I walk around the corner just a little bit more, I found this sign, this homemade sign that they put out here. It says brunches coming soon, 2024. So hopefully by this summer, this thing might be up and going. They got to do a lot of work though. Hopefully they paint it and do some stuff to it, make it look a little bit more inviting, which I'm sure they will skip across the road here real quick and I get run over and right up here is the old Hardy's building nothing's been announced 
I've not heard any kind of news on the Hardy's building yet. They definitely have it blocked off. They don't want nobody going in there getting some free parking here in town. And what you'd pay for that parking. <laughs> All right. So we took a look at brunches. Let's uh, make our way up here to the Carolina Beach Lake and check out the uh, playground up there and see how that's coming along. And then we're gonna wrap up this little vlog. Thanks for hanging out with me this morning. Really appreciate it. All right, my friends, I have made it over here to the Carolina Beach Lake. Right there is the paddle boats. And right across from the paddle boats is the parking area. And you see they have a lot of, they have a dumpster over there. Construction workers are down here hard at work. And look at this awesome playground they got down here that they're finishing up. This thing is going to be done like really soon. I mean, they're really getting close. Look at that shark on the ground, that outline. And that's what the workers seem to be doing right now. The designs that you see on the park floor are coming along. And I don't know if this is a jungle gym or what, but that thing is awesome. I mean, would it be frowned upon if I come out here and climb on this thing? As long as I promise not to get hurt. Who knows? As you can see, these gentlemen over here are actually laying down like a tracer on the ground. And then they're taking that red gravel and like filling it in. And they're making these designs on the floor, which I think is pretty cool. I like learning stuff like that when you can learn something new. Like I, I look at stuff sometime and, you know, from the engineering side of it and like, oh, how they do that. You know, that's very fascinating to me. So, uh, yeah, really, really cool to see this thing come along. It's going to be open. I would say within the next month, definitely before Memorial Day, they have this done, I believe. So, uh, really awesome to see. And I really appreciate all you guys hanging out with me today. This has been a lot of fun. So let's go wrap this video up. Got my belly full of some sweet sugar goodness of Brits donuts this morning. All right, that will wrap up everything here at the Carolina Beach Lake to see. Might get some sunshine today. It's clouds are starting to part a little bit. I don't see no blue sky yet, but um mm, man, some good coffee. Um but it's getting brighter out here. I'm starting to squint a little bit because of the brightness of the white so bright. So well uh, let's go wrap this video up. I'm gonna try to think of a good place to close this thing out. Maybe maybe the Curie Beach fishing pier area. I wonder if it's still foggy out there on that ocean front. That looked kind of cool seeing that pier kind of drift off into the fog. Yeah, let's go try that out. Should be fun. And then we're gonna wrap it up. Thanks for y'all. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. All right, I have made my way down here to the Curie Beach Fishing Pier. And they're hard at work. I was wondering if they would be ready, you know, if it was open already, but obviously not. They're still doing some some work down here i see quite a few boards laid out here next to the pier house and also up on the pier itself there's a lot of wood tracking its way up the hill there a little bit as you walk up the hill on the pier i notice uh some of the lighting poles i don't really see them sticking up neither so uh but i would imagine from years past by April 1st, I bet the pier will be open, which is only, I think next week's Easter. So uh, at the time of this recording, next week is Easter. So just want to keep that in mind that uh, if you are coming out here fish, maybe just check out with them. I ain't really looked on their website or anything like that to see when or where they're going to be opening. But uh, let's walk out here on the beach a little bit and end this thing right. Because it is feeling pretty good out here not a lot of wind or last night the storms that come through was a lot of wind and what the heck happened over here what's going on oh it's the drain is down here i bet all that rain last night i bet this whole thing was full we got about two and a half inches of rain look at that big wave wow that's intense yeah we got a lot of rain i think it filled that up and it looks like the rainwater ran down through here like a river and then pulled up right here beneath the Curie Beach fishing pier. That would have been kind of cool to see. Look at that underneath there. All that would have been flooded. You can tell, you can see like where the water was located. 
the ocean didn't do this it was all the rainwater that we got that spewed up out of that hole right there how you doing there bird where you going bobbing that head like you're listening to uh, MC Hammer in 1988 <laughs> he said you can't touch this I gotta go all right all right my friends that will pretty much wrap it up for me today if I do this one hand because I'm still drinking my coffee thank you so much for hanging out with me today I really appreciated it rich donuts is open for 2024 summer is upon us I am getting excited I hope you guys are getting excited too we're gonna have a lot of fun this summer do some fun things here on the channel if you're new to the channel please go ahead and think about hitting that subscribe button it costs you nothing it is absolutely free to go click and be in the loop of my future uploads thank you for all the support I really appreciate the influx of subscribers that we have acquired lately Thank you for taking the time to do that. You know, that, that, that is so freaking fascinating how people watch the channel and talk and comment and all that kind of stuff. And I feel like some of you guys, y'all comment so much. I feel like I know you. I can't, you know, hopefully someday I get to see you guys and meet you and put a face with the name and that whole thing. I really, uh, I really like the conversations, man. Y'all are really cool. So awesome. Makes this channel so much more fun to do than back in the day when I started it and like nobody watched your channel, you know. If you got like one view in a week, it was like, oh, that's awesome. One person watched it and then it's like, you know, some relative said, hey, I watched your video the other day and you're like, oh, you know. <laughs> but now we're getting, we're starting to get more views. It's really cool. I mean, you know, it, it's awesome if people take the time to do that. So uh, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Now, enough of the jibber jabber. I, I do ramble a little bit every once in a while when I get excited want to express my thoughts and emotions with you but uh thanks so much for watching hope y'all stay safe y'all have a great weekend and uh yeah i hope we have a lot of fun moving forward i'm the hitchhiking yeti friends and i will see you in my next adventure y'all stay safe out there i love the sound of that ocean That's, that just sounds that is music to my ears a little rough out there